Here is the opener for your secret. This better be the opener. That you can always leave at hot1015tampabay.com. Click on the Miguel and Holly page and you'll see our secrets tab. Okay. I had my first real top of the mountain experience last weekend. Nice. Good for you, by the way. Mm-hmm. I, that, is a, that is celebratory. Get it, girl. Get Celebrate. It. Mm-hmm. I've been married nearly 15 years and it wasn't my husband that did it. It was his brother. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What in the Tampa Bay train wreck is going on? I just don't know what's been happening, but I feel like the last six months, our secrets have just gone to like, oh, that's crazy to like, oh my gosh, we need to start submitting these situations to a movie company. Like, is it, is it, is it COVID? Do people have like COVID crazy? I guess because people aren't traveling and so they're just getting into all sorts of shady stuff. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, but hold on. We got an update from a Tampa Bay secret from last week. Oh, I, saw, I still hadn't wrapped my brain around the other one. Go ahead. Yeah, okay, all right. Okay. All right, so last week, there was our very last secret. Someone said, I got married to my high school sweetheart last March in 2020, eight months of the marriage. Uh, I found out my husband was sleeping with my mom and my sister. Oh, that's gosh. right. Remember that? Ah, no, yes. no, I had forgotten, but now I know. And we were like, what? How is that possible? Well, yeah, and I was like, I, I was like, what sort of person is this? We have an update. Okay. All right. Here's how I found out, they say. Our toilet, my husband and I's toilet kept clogging up. So my husband called a plumber to come out and fix it. The plumber came while my husband was at work and snaked the toilet and pulled out a bunch of used protection that apparently had been flushed down the toilet. We do not use protection because we are married. And also, they were high school sweethearts. Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming he didn't probably have a whole lot of experience before her mm-hmm. to know not to throw that down the toilet. That's like like toilet 101. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, go ahead. We oh. continue. I didn't say anything to my husband about what the plumber had revealed. So I ordered a hidden camera off Amazon, <gasps> put it in our bedroom. A couple days ago, a couple days go by, and I checked the hidden camera. I found my husband sleeping with my mom and my sister in the same day. No, no, no. What is happening? My mother in the morning and my sister in the afternoon. Family update. I disowned my mother and sister. Great way to kick off 2021. Oh, my gosh. I... (laughs) Who does that? I don't know. sister, husband, y'all nasty. What? (laughs) (laughs) Save that. I got nothing. I want, like, we... I want to just buy you a buy you a drink. Yes, like I just I feel for this person that that just happened, right? This, yeah, like, in the last couple. This months. is yes, because they got married a year ago in March. Yeah, and then it was eight months later that all this happened. You know, you know, and this is how nosy I am. Oh dear. I just want to know, and there's no way to know. I just want to know how the husband possibly arranged all of this right like did he reach out to the mother did the mother reach out to him how did the sister get involved how did it go down on the same day like mm. do you have regrets or were you just it like doesn't seem like no. it. yolo i don't know if that's a yolo kind of situation that's a i regret my life right now because that i just can't even wrap my brain around it Okay. But wait, there's, there's more, more secrets. No, shut up. Okay. Yeah, there's more. There's <laughs> I gotta more. I got my chair back. I threw it over here. All right, I'm in. All right, here's another Tampa Bay secret. Since I asked a close friend to be my maid of honor five months ago, we've started drifting apart. Oh. I feel like she doesn't want to spend time with me in favor of spending time with other single friends. The oh. wedding is not for another year. I'm thinking about asking her to step down, oh. but I don't want to ruin our friendship. I think that's going to ruin the friendship. Yeah. I, those things are very sensitive. I wonder if you can have a conversation first before you resort to that. Yeah. Just to see where her, her mind is. And I feel like this is like our our writer here is like super hurt feelings. Yeah, absolutely. And is, is going off of like knee-jerk emotions mm-hmm. to make decisions when 
there's a very good chance, like, yeah, maybe your maid of honor is hanging out with single people because yeah. sometimes it, it it is difficult it is. to go out about town if you are engaged and planning a wedding and not doing the same things that single people do. So mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, your lives are moving in separate directions, but that doesn't mean that the friendship can't continue. Right. Yeah. I mean, because I remember those days when I was in my 20s and especially the mid-20s when, like, everybody was getting married to the person they met in college. Mm -hmm. And I was still, like, nowhere close to even being remotely in any sort of relationship. <laughs> right. And so it was a, a bitter time. Sorry, well, Scott. It's, oh. <laughs> it's fine. I'm fine. It's just, it just, lives do kind of diverge at that point but again that doesn't mean that you can't be friends like and I, I feel to the writer a little bit like what do you expect right like you're not able to provide all those things for that friend nor should you that's not your job mm -mm. but like she's got to get him somewhere here's the closer for tampa bay secret jeez oh, i heard this story from a friend whose friend who's friends with a girl who has four boyfriends four Listen to this. Okay. okay. On this girl's birthday, she requested that all four boyfriends buy her the same purse. Now, neither of these guys know each other. No, none of the four. The four boyfriends. The boyfriends complied, and she sold three of the purses for money and kept one of them. All four boyfriends are extremely pleased when they see her wearing the purse that they got her for her birthday. You diabolical. <laughs> God, that is so shady. Oh, I'd be so mad. I just don't get how one juggles four different partners. No. How? Oh, and I really, are you exhausted? You're busy all the time. Is your body exhausted? Yeah, I bet it is.